Welcome back. Fox 8 News in the morning. Flu season is upon us. And while flu cases have dropped during the pandemic, you still need to protect yourself. Dr. Susan Ream is an infectious disease specialist with the Cleveland Clinic. She's here now to talk about why you should still get the flu shot. Doctor, first of all, thank you for your time. Appreciate you stopping by this morning. Great to be here. All right, uh, what type of flu are we looking at this year, first of all? Um, well, we, the vaccine is gonna contain four different strains of flu, mm -hmm. two of type A, two of type B. And this is the first year that every single vaccine that's available is gonna have all four types. Oh, that's good. It's been updated as well as the strains have been updated. Okay. And uh, so, you know, stick around and see what the season will be like, and right? And that's the question, because last year, because of the pandemic, you know, everyone was putting on a mask and social distancing and all of that. We didn't have a lot of cases of the flu compared to other years. What are you expecting this year? Well, I, I don't know what to expect. And, you know, when we talk about flu, it's every year is different. If you've seen one year, you've seen one year. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I think that because people are not wearing masks as much that we might see more transmission. We've already seen more transmission of other respiratory viruses like respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. Okay. So I, I, I hope, however, that the masking will make a difference. And I also hope that we will see the levels of vaccination for influenza that we saw last year. Most people don't realize that we actually had a record number of people vaccinated for influenza last really, year. In the midst of the pandemic? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it was astonishing, and we hope we can do as well this year, too. All right, let's, let's talk about, you know, we're in the midst of COVID-19 still. The, you know, we're still dealing with that. People are, you know, getting the shot. Is it, is it, is it safe, once you've had the, the, the COVID-19 shot, to get the flu shot? Yes, absolutely, and vice versa. As a matter of fact, you can get both COVID vaccine and flu vaccine on, at the same visit. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's gonna make things very easy for people who haven't already received COVID vaccination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can get COVID vaccination potentially when they get their flu vaccine. Talk about the flu shot. Uh, are there side effects like the COVID? We always say about the COVID side effects. What about the flu shot? The flu vaccine does have similar side effects in terms of sore mm -hmm, arm, mm -hmm. and some people feel tired or even a little bit feverish mm -hmm. afterwards too. Mm -hmm. So that, there, there can be a, a few side effects from it, but it's a lot better than getting the flu. So once again, uh, the individuals who are most at risk? Uh, yes, the people who are most at risk are older people, mm -hmm. people with health conditions, smoking, asthma, heart disease, yeah. lung disease, et cetera, and also people who are younger pregnant women, and people who have compromised immunity. Talk about the frustration that you have to be feeling when it comes to vaccine hesitancy. Well, it, I think the tough part for me is that these vaccines are truly miracles. These vaccines meaning? Meaning the COVID vaccine, as well as flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. But the COVID vaccines are more effective, more safe. They, they came right as, as soon as we could possibly get them. Mm -hmm. And it's always better to prevent disease than to try to treat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now people trust the flu vaccine, but they're hesitant a lot about the COVID vaccine. Why is that, do you think? I think that there's a variety of individual reasons and I'm hoping with time and, and experience, you know, many people said, gee, it went, went so quickly, could, you know, you got, you came, could there we, be some unknowns there? Is, is, that, is that problematic in, in, in your mind, the, fa the fact that it came so quickly, the, the vaccine? Well, I was among the first people vaccinated. So, uh -huh. I, okay. I, I, I mean, that tells you the level of trust that okay. we have. And you've had your booster. Uh, I just had my and booster had recently. Yeah, I've had my flu shot. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, I had my flu vaccine early in September, and I had my COVID booster just a couple mm -hmm. days ago. Mm -hmm. What do you say to individuals who are hesitant? What do you say? Uh, I say prevention is so much better than treatment, mm -hmm. that, that it is so much more protective. And you're really playing with your life and you're playing with the life of others as well. One final question, you know, we, have, you, we get this flu shot every year. Do you think that's going to be the case with the, with the COVID-19 shot? Remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think one thing that we've learned is a, a lot about the natural history of viruses. They all change, they all mutate with time. And, the vaccine, fortunately, has been very good against all the strains of, of COVID that have come up so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Dr. Reem, thank you very much. Good information for us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, hey, get your shots. That's for sure. We want to stay safe. We want to stay healthy, right? Thank you. All right.